This is the Xsense Quick Keys Shortcut Remote. It's a highly customizable macro pad, primarily used in conjunction with artists' tablets like the Wacom. But to be honest with you, I found it to be much more than just that, and I use it more and more in my everyday life, from work to play. So let's dive into my full review on the Quick Keys by Xsense Labs. This pad retails for around $90, direct or from Amazon, but for that price you're going to get the shortcut remote itself, a hard fabric case, a USB A to C charging cable, a USB C to A adapter, as well as a USB A wireless receiver. Unfortunately, this device doesn't support Bluetooth out of the box, so for wireless use you are going to have to use that receiver, but it's low profile enough that you can kind of just set it and forget it. And with that USB C adapter as well, it means the Mac Army can also use this device without too many issues. That's one of the keys here. So this can be used with both Windows, Mac, and Linux. Unfortunately, there is no mobile support for things like the iPad here. Looking at the device itself, it's compact in size. It's almost the size of a large smartphone, but more narrow and weighs around 142 grams. So it feels well built and sturdy in the hand and on your desk. Touring the device, you get that large smooth scroll wheel accented by RGB lights to help you distinguish which mode you're in, as well as a nice haptic click whip button in the middle to help you move between those modes. Under that, you get this simple yet incredibly effective screen, allowing you to, at a glance, see all of the button's functions that will update based upon which mode you're in. Speaking of those buttons, we have eight large ones, four either side of the screen, and these feel great to click, very haptic and easy to distinguish without even looking at the device because of the indents on the buttons. So you don't need to break focus to look down at the device to know what you're pressing. Under the screen, when in portrait mode, is the button to quickly move between sets of actions. You can set up to five different actions for individual programs. For example, Photoshop, you could have all your brush tools on one and all your color grading tools on another. This is a great feature, but it is difficult to differentiate which mode you're in without breaking focus and directly looking down at the device. Finally, on the bottom of the device, you have two LED indicators, one to show power and the other one to show a connection. On the back of the device, you have a nice rubberized texture to help it well and truly stick to your desk. This thing is not going anywhere, trust me, and I love that about it. This device truly does feel sturdy and premium in its design and attention to detail, especially for this price point. As mentioned above, we can change the orientation of this device to fit your space and use case. And this is a feature I love, because dependent on what I want to be doing, I will be changing that orientation for what suits me best. Let's talk software real quick, as this is where Quick Keys really does come into its own as a macro pad. You can choose to set up the pad for different applications, but by default, it works with Photoshop and Illustrator. Personally, I set up a profile for Visual Studio. Now, I know what you're thinking, but hear me out. I set up the scroll wheel to have two functions, to obviously scroll my document, as well as with a tap of the middle button, it can quickly redo and undo changes by scrubbing, much like you would on a timeline. This is becoming much more handy than I may have expected it to be. What's even more powerful, yo, is shortcuts. You can get quick keys to actually write whole sentences if desired. So for me, I have buttons to set up everything from start and update functions, all the way to generating a switch case and starting a build. This shortcut pad really is a lifesaver for me, and I couldn't imagine life without it now. With the USB-C charging cable as well, this is, of course, wireless. So it has an integrated battery, which is said to last between 25 and 53 hours. That is a long time to be using this device, and of course, it depends upon your use case and some of the power settings you're using as well. It's actually incredible for its low cost, especially compared to other devices like the Stream Deck. I think more and more people will be turning to Xsense Labs, and really should do. This device feels premium, it is easy to use, and very versatile across all of the softwares that you would want to use it with, and all operating systems you would want to use it with. So anyway guys, why don't you let me know in the comments section down below what you thought of the Xsense Lab Quick Keys, and why not get subscribed while you're down there as well, it helps me out a ton, and I will love you for absolutely ever. Anyway guys, my name is Robert, this has been Review Clue, and I will catch you in the next one. Adios.